to get to the solution. You, you are the solution. Because you are the only one in all of existence who can feel. Who has choice. Think about it. Everyone you see, including me, is acting with hidden motives. I can tell you my motives, but how are you to know whether I'm telling the truth or whether I'm expressing false motives in the hopes that you'll adopt my viewpoint, in the hopes that you will follow me? in the hopes that you will think me wise and will turn your will over to me to care for. I'm telling you that I don't want your will. I want you to take control of it. I, we, we need you to take control of your own will. Everything that comes into your body from outside should be held up against that which you have inside. You need morality of your own. If someone writes down moral guidelines, they're probably trying to manipulate you. They're trying, to, probably trying to limit your choice. They're taking away your freedom. Now, some things that are written down are good. And that's why everything you take in from the outside, you need to hold up to your inner light, your inner reason. Whatever you want to call it, it is inside of you and you alone. Are you going to trust the government? Well... The government is polarized. There are good people there, certainly. There are very bad people there. The church? Yeah. Many priests have very good intentions. Many do not. The whole world is this way. And you need to judge and don't make quick judgments because knee-jerk reactions can be worse than contemplation and deliberation. couple points for you Christians and I love Christ don't you want to be wise haven't you found it suspicious that stupidity is not a sin? Now, I believe that no one has to be stupid. 
I believe it's a choice. I've met some mentally retarded people who were so good at heart and so moral and therefore I consider so wise. And perhaps that perhaps that's good to separate wisdom from intelligence. It's easy to conflate those two, but they are different things. An evil genius is not a good man. Here's a quote from the Bible. It's from Jeremiah 5, verse 26. Wise words, whether they're straight from God or from a man. And I never heard this in church. Among my people are wicked men who lie in wait, like men who snare birds, and like those who set traps to catch men. Like cages full of birds, their houses are full of deceit. They have become rich and powerful, and have grown fat and sleek. Their evil deeds have no limit. Their houses are full of deceit. They corrupt those who listen. When you go to church, it's not entertainment. It should be a time of contemplation. The house of God, your body, your mind is the house of God. There is no building that can t contain him as fully as your head does. And again, for atheists, you want to be the hero of your own movie. Who's writing the script? I don't know where to go. We need to be patient enough that we do not overreact. But we need to be active enough that we don't fall into apathy and inaction. If we just strike out violently, we need to take care that we're cutting off the head of our enemy. Not their son, or their slave. Just another sheep that follows them. And to do that, we need to know our enemy. To do that, we can't just rebel. We must be inside to see our enemy.